10 real flankers you did not know exist. Flankers, also known as uh, vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, have been a topic of interest for decades. The futuristic vehicles have the cap capability to take off and land vertically, like a helicopter, but can also fly horizontally, like traditional airplane. Here are 10 real flying cars that are currently in development or have been successfully tested. At number 10, we have Al Pal V Liberty. The Pal V Liberty is developed by Pal V, a Dutch company. It is a tilt rotor vehicle that can be driven on the road like a car and flown in the air like a gyrocopter. It has a top speed of 112 miles per hour or 180 kilometers per hour on the road and 112 miles per hour or 180 kilometers per hour in the air and can fly up to an altitude of 11,480 feet or 3,500 meters. The vehicle has a range of about 430 miles or equivalent to 700 kilometers on the road and uh, 310 miles or 500 kilometers in the air. It requires a sport pilot license to operate and uh, the Pal V Liberty is available for pre-order and is expected uh, and its expected delivery date uh, was on 2022. At number 9 you have Ehang 216. The Ehang 216 is a flying taxi developed by a Chinese company, Ehang. It is an autonomous electric vehicle takeoff and landing aircraft uh, that can carry one passenger and a small amount of luggage. So it has a maximum speed of uh, 60, kilo, uh, 60 miles per hour or 100 kilometers per hour and a flight range of about uh, 30 miles which is equivalent to 50 kilometers on a single charge. The vehicle is controlled by a computer system and does not require a pilot. Uh, passengers simply enter their destination into the Ehang app and the aircraft will fly them there autonomously. Yeah? The Ehang 216 is currently in testing and development stage and uh, not yet available for commercial use. So at number 8 we have a uh, Volocopter VC200. The Volocopter VC200 is a vertical takeoff and landing uh, electric uh, aircraft developed by German company Volocopter. It is a multi-copter that uses 18 rotors to lift and propulsion. It can carry one pilot and one passenger and has a maximum speed of 62 miles per hour or uh, 100 kilometers per hour and a maximum flight time of 27 minutes. The Volocopter VC200 is designed for use as an air taxi for transportation in urban areas. It is currently in testing and development stage and uh, not yet available for commercial use. At number 7, we have uh, Terefugia uh, TFX. The Terefugia uh, TFX is a concept for a flying car that uh, developed by uh, Terefugia, a subsidiary of Gili, a Chinese automotive company. It is a hybrid electric vehicle that can take off and land vertically like a helicopter and then uh, transition to horizontal flight like an airplane. The TFX has a top speed of uh, 200 uh, miles per hour which is equivalent to 320 kilometers per hour and a range of uh, 500 miles uh, which is equivalent to 800 kilometers. It can fly at an altitude of up to 10,000 feet or 3,000 meters and accommodate four persons. It is designed to be flown by nine pilots and can be operated via computer system. So the TFX is currently in development and uh, no date for commercial availability has been announced yet. So at number six, uh, we have uh, Opener uh, Black Fly. Yeah? The Opener Black Fly is a single seat ultra light personal electric aircraft developed by Opener, a Canadian company. It is a vertical uh, takeoff and landing uh, aircraft that, that uses eight rotors for lift and propulsion. It has a maximum speed of uh, 62 miles per hour or equivalent to 100 kilometers per hour and a maximum flight time of 25 minutes. 
So the black fly is designed for short distance travel, such as uh, commuting or recreation, and can be operated by a pilot uh, with a sports pilot license, which is uh, you know uh, less restrictive than a traditional pilot's license. The aircraft is available for purchase, but it's intended for use in uncongested areas and not for urban community. So at number five, we have a cultivator. SkyDrive. The Cativeta SkyDrive is a single-seat personal electric flying car developed by Cativeta, a Japanese company. It is a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that uses four rotors for lift and propulsion. It has a top speed of 100 km per hour or equivalent to 62 miles per hour and a flight range of about 100 km uh, which is also equivalent to 62 miles on a single charge. So the vehicle is designed uh, for use in urban areas as a flying motorcycle for personal transportation. Uh, the vehicle is still under development and the team aiming to have a manned flight by 2023 and it's not yet available for purchase or commercial use. So at number 4, uh, we have a uh, Hoover Surf uh, Scorpion 3. The Hoover Surf Scorpion 3 is a vertical takeoff and landing personal electric aircraft developed by Hoover Surf, a Russian company. It is a quadcopter that uses four rotors for lift and propulsion. It has a top speed of 70 km per hour or 43 miles per hour and a maximum flight time of 25 minutes. The Scorpion 3 is designed for personal transportation, uh, recreation and uh, aerial photography. It can be operated by a pilot with a sport pilot license and it is available for purchase. So the vehicle is intended for use in uncongested areas and not for urban community. So at number 3, we have a uh, Alauda MK3. The Alauda MK3 is a personal electric aircraft developed by Alauda, an Australian company. It is a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that uses four rotors for lift and propulsion. It has a top speed of 100 km per hour, which is equivalent to 62 miles per hour and a maximum flight time of 30 minutes. The vehicle is designed for personal transportation and recreation and can be flown by a pilot with a sport pilot license. Yeah, the Alauda MK3 is still under development and no date for commercial availability has been announced yet. So at number two, we have uh, Joby Aviation S4. The Joby Aviation S4 is a concept of, uh, for an electric uh, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft uh, developed by Joby, Joby Aviation, an American company. It is designed to carry up to four passengers and a pilot and has a top speed of 200 miles per hour, which is equivalent to 320 kilometers per hour and a range of 150 miles, which is equivalent to 240 kilometers. The S4 is designed for use as an air taxi for transportation in urban areas and uh, it uses a combination of tilt rotors and fixed wings for lift and propulsion. So the company plans to have a commercial product available by the end of the decade, uh, but it is still in development stages and not yet available for purchase. So number one uh, is SkyDrive SD03. Yeah, the Sky uh, SkyDrive SD03 is a personal electric uh, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft uh, developed by SkyDrive, a Japanese company. Uh, it is designed to carry one person and a small amount of luggage and has a top speed of uh, 100 km per hour or equivalent to 62 miles per hour and a maximum flight time of 20 minutes. So the SD03 is designed for personal transportation and recreation and can be flown by a pilot uh, with, a spoil, uh, with a sport pilot license. The SD03 is still under development and no date for commercial availability uh, has been announced yet. Uh, in summary, there are several uh, flying cars currently in development, uh, some of them already available for purchase, uh, but the majority still in the testing and development stage. These vehicles are designed for different purposes. Uh, such as uh, personal transportation, air taxi services, and recreation, and most of them uh, requires a pilot's uh, license to operate. 
so guys if you find this video formative uh, please hit that subscribe button for more comparison videos yeah make sure you stay safe and i will see you in my next video